welcome back. It's me, Jessie. It is December 6th, so day 6 of Vlogmas today, and we are going to try and do paw print ornaments with Miss Tifa. Um, I did these, again, like five or six years ago with the Goldens, um, but we're going to try and do Tifa's today. She literally hates it so much when you touch her paws. Here. Um, she hates it. So I really don't, I have no idea how this is going to go. So we'll see. So in order to make the dough, we're going to combine equal parts um, flour and salt. I don't think it really matters what kind of flour it is. Someone did say um, not to use the kind that's like self-rising. Um, so just all purpose I think is fine. And then like I said, equal parts salt and flour. I've seen recipes where they've called for like twice the amount of flour. Um, honestly, I don't know. I've always just done it one to one. And then we do um, about half a cup of water, um, maybe a little more if it's not combining nicely. I'm going to be really interested. And then we're just going to mix until it's combined into a dough. Ready? So that was significantly harder to do than um, with one hand than it was with two. Um, I did use my right hand a little bit, just my fingers, but oh, that was that was way harder than it is with two hands. <laughs> okay, so now I have it um, flattened out. It's not quite as, I should have just used my rolling pin, but that's okay. I have about 800 cookie cutters, and do you think I have a single circular one? How? I don't know. So I'm going to use a cup. But if you have actual cookie cutters, use actual cookie cutters. Are we going to get you to put your paw here? I'm probably going to have to like lift her up to get her to press her paw down. Really? What do you think? We do it again. Good job, there you go. So I did just cut out a couple of extra just so that I didn't waste the dough. Um, I put them on a baking sheet and I'm gonna put them in the oven. I'm gonna put them at 225 for probably four hours, maybe five. I do these ornaments really thick because um, of just because of the way the paw prints fit on them. Um, normally, I think you would bake them at like 250 for like three hours, but um, I did that last time, and honestly, they didn't they didn't cure quite the way I wanted them to. So this time I'm gonna go for a lower heat for longer and hopefully they turn out okay. So we will check back in in four or five hours. So I had the ornaments bake for four hours. I took them out about a half hour ago to let them cool off. One thing I forgot to mention was that obviously you need to have a hole in them in order to hang them on your tree. Um, all you have to do is right before you bake them, take a straw, poke a hole in it. It's not anything super hard. So I'm going to paint these two. I am leaving the other ornaments for my nieces to paint, but um, I'm going to get these two done. So similarly to how I painted Malcolm and Maggie's, I'm going to do one where I just fill in the little actual indentations and the other one I'm going to fill in the indentations and then also paint the background, I guess. So for Tifa, we are doing purple in the indentations. And then for the one where I'm gonna fill in the background, I'm just gonna use white. 
So these are the finished products. Um, they look a little odd. Honestly, like this one straight up looks like a bunny face, I think. <laughs> but they're cute and they'll be fun little keepsakes. So that's it for this video. Thank you for watching. And if you have any suggestions or things you want me to try or do, just leave them in the comments below or message me on any of my socials. And we'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye. Oh, yeah, just go right on the table. That's a great idea.